is Dawn and this is my channel, A Dark Cold Life. If this is your first time here, then welcome. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. This is a channel where I like to try to bring light into my dark cold life. And one of the ways that I do that is by shopping at the Dollar Tree. And so today we have a Dollar Tree use and review video. That's a video where I review some of the items that I've purchased at Dollar Tree. And then I also show you some of the ways that I've used Dollar Tree items in my home. And so let's get started. The very first item I have is one of these reusable bags. These are the ones that are kind of like a paper cloth material on the side. I'm not sure what you call this material. It is not plastic. It's, um, like I said, it's like paper cloth. And then the handles are also made of that material. And then the sides are like a plastic. And um, so I've tried a few different kinds of these. They always have the most adorable prints on them. I love the print on this. Unfortunately, I have to give this bag a thumbs down. I've had multiple ones of this type of bag rip out on the side. Not the cloth part, not this paper cloth, but the actual plastic sides have ripped out. And so um, for me, this is a, um, a thumbs down and I won't be purchasing this type of reusable bag from Dollar Tree uh, again. The next item I have is another type of reusable bag. This one's a little different. This one's like a stronger, heavier duty kind of plastic and it has woven cloth handles. It expands out, um, it expands out quite wide. It holds quite a bit of things. I've used these bags multiple times. And, um, and they have not ripped on me, so I can definitely recommend these. I would say these are a thumbs up, and I would purchase this type of bag from the Dollar Tree again. The next item I have is this My Pet's Friend Oatmeal Enhanced Deodorizing Shampoo. Um, Whenever I give Hera a bath with this and then we go to like the vet or uh, friends and family and they pet her, they always comment on how soft she feels after using this shampoo and that she has a pleasant smell. Um, this does not have a strong smell. It just has a, like a clean smell. And so uh, Hera doesn't get that need to go roll around in the dirt as soon as she gets a bath. Um, and so we love this stuff. Um, this is the second bottle we've gotten from the Dollar Tree. And so I would give this a thumbs up. And yes, I will purchase it again. The next item that I have is this spray disinfectant from Chase's. I like this. It says it's a linen scent. I'm not sure I get linen scent out of it, but it is not a terrible, uh, it's not a terrible smell. You can definitely tell it's disinfectant. It does eliminate odors. It does uh, seem to kill germs. When sick people come to my house, I do, I spray the door handles with this and, um, and, and it seems to help me from getting sick. I can recommend this. I give it a thumbs up and yes, I would purchase this item again. The next item I have is this all-purpose peppermint sage cleaner. I like this stuff. I like the smell of it. Um, I don't really get sage. I just get peppermint, um, but that could just be me. I like I like the way that this cleans. I love the way that it smells. Does the peppermint stays a little bit after you uh, clean the items? And um, so this is a thumbs up for me. Um, I would purchase this item again. Um, the only thing is because it has peppermint, I like to keep it away from Hera. So I'm currently only use it on my kitchen cabinets and my kitchen counters, just the upper cabinets. because so I just don't want it anywhere she's going to be. And so um, I do like this. Um, would I purchase it again? Yes, I would purchase this one again. The next item is the corresponding dish soap that goes with that. It's also peppermint sage. Again, it smells lovely if you like the scent of peppermint. If you don't like peppermint, you're not going to like it. Um, 
I would have to give this dish soap a thumbs down, not because it doesn't clean dishes. Um, it cleans them okay. Um, it doesn't lather a lot. If you're a person that likes a lot of lather from your dish soap, this doesn't do that. Um, the other thing that I would say about it is I just think for $1.25 you can get better dishwashing liquid at the Dollar Tree than this. And so for that reason, I would give it a thumbs down. I won't be purchasing this again. Um, I prefer Dawn. I, I like the fact that it works really well on grease, and yet it's gentle enough for them to use it on ducks and, and other wildlife. And so um, I just prefer Dawn for that reason. The next item I have are these Goalie Bites. This is the Calm Ones. Um, this is made out of mushroom extract. I did notice a difference when I took some of these in the fact that I got tired. Um, if that's what you want to call calm and relaxing, then, um, then these work. At least for me, they just made me tired. Um, I'm a little concerned about the number of sugars that they have. You're supposed to take two twice daily. There's no way I can do that. Um, they have uh, five grams of added sugars. The total sugars is six grams. For two, that would be 12 grams of sugar a day, and that's just way too much sugar for me. And so, um, so yes, I would give this a thumbs up based on the product itself, um, but I won't be purchasing this item again just because of the sugar. Then we have these Goalie Bites for energy. I tried these. I noticed absolutely no difference at all when I took these. Um, and so, and these are also a little higher in sugar than I would, I would like. But um, I have to give these ones a thumbs down and I would not purchase these again. I, like I said, I didn't notice any difference at all. The next item I have are these in-wash aroma boosters and odor eliminators. This is compared to Downy. I, everyone kept telling me um, that they were Downy cast-offs and, um, and that they worked really well. So I have a, a sample here. This is Downy on the right. These are the aroma boosters on the left. These are definitely different color. They come out of different factories. Um, one comes from China, one comes from the United States, and um, so I don't believe that they are downy cast-offs. Um, they may be a downy dupe, um, but I wouldn't call them cast-offs. However, I can recommend this product. I give this a big thumbs up. I did a comparison of this. I washed a load of laundry in downy, and then I washed a load of laundry in this and then I let them sit uh, for two weeks um, and then smelled them and they smelled absolutely the same. And this in-wash aroma booster and odor eliminator is so much cheaper at the Dollar Tree for $1.25 than Downy is. I love Downy, don't get me wrong, but when you're on a budget and you need to save money, um, I would highly recommend these in-wash aroma boosters. Um, the only issue is I have a difficulty finding these um, anymore, so whenever I see them, I'm going to snag a few of them if they come back. But I can definitely um, give this a big thumbs up, and yes, if I can find it, I will purchase it again. The next item that I tried was this LA's Totally Awesome Bleach. This was a huge bottle, 96 ounces in the lemon scent. For $1.25, I thought I would give it a try, and um, I think this works just as well as the Walmart, um, the Walmart brand. I used to use the Walmart brand of bleach, but I like this LA's Totally Awesome, and um, and it is made in the USA, and so um, I have to give this a thumbs up. It's cheaper than. The Walmart brand and um, and it works I think it works just as well and so big thumbs up and I will purchase this LA's bleach again the next item I have are these reusable bags these were in the watermelon print so for these reusable bags I love the bags I just don't like cleaning them um, after having food in them 
And so I switched over and started using them in a different way. Instead of using these for food, I put things in them um, that won't leak, uh, like uh, first aid supplies, like bandages and, and things like that. And uh, this one has the corn cob skewer things in it. And, um, and so I, that's what I use them for now. I don't put food in them anymore um, just because they are diff I find them difficult to clean. Um, even when I turn them inside out, I just, it feels like they're not, you're not getting all the food out of the little crevice around the edge. And so, um, for me, that just made me uncomfortable. And so I, um, I just use them for other things. And so, yes, I would give them a thumbs up, uh, for things other than food. And, um, and I would purchase them again for things other than food. And so the next item I wanted to talk about are these um, these corn on the cob skewers. These things are awesome in that they go in the corn on the cob really well. Um, they are a nice big handle that you can hold on to. They one of the things that the package said was that these locked locked together um, so that you could store them in your drawer. They don't lock. They just slide in. And so what I found was happening is in my drawer, when I open the drawer multiple times, these would separate and then you, you run the risk of poking your fingers on these little sharp things. And so, um, so I wish they locked together, but they do not. And that it did say on the package that they did, but, uh, they do not. And, um, and so I would give these a thumbs up. They're great. Um, just realize that they don't lock in place and um, I would purchase them again. The next item that I tried was this peach um, beauty intuition lip gloss. I'm not sure. I want to make sure you can see that. This is beauty intuition lip gloss and it has this nice big handle on the top. This is a beautiful color. It goes on nice and smooth, but the best thing about this is it has the most amazing smell. It smells like peaches. Um, it is just a beautiful color. It smells great. It doesn't have a taste, um, a, you know, an unpleasant taste on your lips. Just like a typical lip gloss, it just stays on your, on your lips for a little while, but I loved this. If I see another one, I'm going to get another one. Um, because I really liked that. So thumbs up. Yes, I would purchase this again. If you don't like the smell of peaches, you're probably not going to like that one. So next I have these pet nail clippers uh, from the Dollar Tree. And um, unfortunately, these did not work for me. They didn't cut her nails very well. And um, this lock uh, kept getting pushed on. Um, and, and the handles would lock when I was trying to actually trim her nails. And other than that, and sometimes it seemed like they would lock even though this, this, this thing didn't move. And so for me, I have to say thumbs down. And um, I mean, if you've got them to work for you, great. But for me, these did not work. So I have to say thumbs down. And no, I would not purchase these again. So the last item I have to review are these utensils. They have lovely wooden handles and rubberized ends. Um, I'm kind of iffy on these. Um, I have about six of these and um, about half of them, about, you know, 50% of them, the, the rubber part stays on the wooden handle really well and doesn't come off at all. And then about 50% of them they come off really easily. The glue is broken down and when you're stirring meat or whatever, flipping an egg, um, the rubberized part falls off and then you've got a mess. And so um, I'm kind of iffy on these. If you can find ones with good glue, um, these are hand wash only. That's the way I treated them anyway, just because they have wooden handles. And, um, but I... Uh, if you can find the ones with, if you can find some with good glue, then they're great. Um, otherwise, I have to say no. I personally won't be purchasing these again, only for that reason. Um, 
I don't think I've got my money's worth out of half of these. So, um, so that's it for the items that I'm going to review today. Now I'm going to take some pictures of things different, just different ways I've used some Dollar Tree items in my home. This is a wall hanging that I created. Um, Dollar Tree had these beautiful dried flower, little flower bouquets that were wrapped in this plastic film. And um, I thought they were just gorgeous. But I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but I got them home and I'm like, what am I going to do with these? Um, I tried putting them in a vase. They just didn't look right I tried um, grouping them together in different ways and and everything I tried it just didn't look right and I finally came up with this um, wall hanging I grouped the dried flowers together at the top and then I filled in the bottom with the Halloween purple and black uh, roses and I like the final product I like the final way this turned out here we have some uh, kitchen angels. I made these out of kitchen towels, um, pot holders, the little miniature spatulas and whisks, and the little chalkboard signs, ribbon, and other things. Um, but I have these in my kitchen. This last picture is a project I recently did with the black woven baskets and the owl chalkboard ornaments. Um, I love the way this turned out. I like the handwritten signs. It's a little more homey than printed labels and so I really like this. Thank you for watching this video and thank you for joining me today. If you like the videos you see on this channel, please click that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. Share the video with family and friends um, and comment down below and tell me if you agree with me or if you disagree. Um, and remember, these are only my opinions. Um, everybody's different. You may find things that you like that I don't like and vice versa. Um, so tell me if you disagree or tell me if you like these things as well. Um, otherwise, come on back and see me again sometime. Thanks and bye-bye.